uh, in this topic we will explore uh, different jump scenarios in STL for TA portal uh, this is a question asked by one of our subscribed members about what are the forward and reverse jump condition in uh, STL what's the application of forward and reverse jump, uh, jump uh, scenarios in uh, STL for TI portal and I created a very simple example for each case uh, to show you and to illustrate the difference uh, this is the uh, forward and backward jump uh, structure in C programming language you have the forward jump you have the uh, go to condition here if it's met you will go to the label that is the uh, in, in the next line in your program uh, contrary to th that you have the backward jump you have a uh, jump condition here if it's met you will be returned to the uh, a previous point uh, in this uh, video I will show you uh, two examples and I will explain uh, the applications that you, you can use forward jumping and backward jumping in uh, STL programming uh, this is a simple forward jump uh, it's a simple selector with a binary command and I will explain the, uh, the program in detail it's the forward jump so uh, this is the uh, our selector based on the uh, command uh, different values will be uh, will be sent to the output uh, if we have uh, if the command is zero if the command is zero uh, we will be uh, we will will we'll jump forward to this point f1 and uh, uh, zero will be transferred to the target zero will be transferred to the target and uh, you can change this value because there, uh, this is a selector program when the command is off you will be uh, jump forward in your program uh, it's uh, jump forward it's the best case for uh, program decision making the most important application of the forward jump is the decision making uh, you have the command if command is zero you will transfer the zero to the output and you will go to the end point contrary to that we consider that we have a uh, the command is true we don't jump uh, in this point there is no jump here the command is true we transfer at number 10 to uh, to the target value and we jump to the end point and uh, it's an unconditional jump and we skip this uh, code section here the code section here is uh, skipped so uh, this is the selector with the uh, command is one we transfer 10 to the memory I have the program here um, we can change so the forward jumping is uh, more suitable for the decision making in your program I uh, developed this simple program in the uh, TIA portal STL and this is the forward jumping mm, I have these values uh, in the watch table uh, you can see that both values are uh, zero and we will monitor this value I change the command to one and we will see the result I modify the command to one and you will see that the uh, the value 10 is transferred to the target it's a selector it's a very simple selector I turn it off and zero will be transferred to the output it's a simple uh, uh, selector program it's a simple uh, decision making uh, that is uh, implemented by the forward jump 
So uh, it's very easy. You can test it in um, your tube portal and uh, we will go to the next uh, scenario. That is backward uh, jump. Uh, the next scenario is backward jump. Uh, backward jump is most suitable for uh, loop calculations. If you don't want to use the loop instruction in STL, it's possible to use the backward jump. Uh, loop instructions in a sense is somehow a backward jump. You have a loop counter. Uh, loop counter is uh, initiated uh, uh, in the program and you uh, decrement this loop counter and check the uh, loop condition yeah, and you will jump back backward. I will explain this, uh, this program in detail here. So uh, backward jump in STL, it's uh, it's much better, um, it's much suitable to to be used in the uh, loop uh, loop uh, uh, applications. Uh, in this uh, this example, we we have the accumulator. We just add uh, only one in each iteration of the loop. We have a loop accumulator. Consider the initial value of this accumulator is uh, 10 and in each iteration, iteration we add 1 to this counter and we store that in the loop accumulator. Uh, another point that we have a loop counter here, we can initiate this loop counter with any value that you want. You can load it with 5, you can load it with any value you want and in each uh, loop you decrement you, uh, or decrease the value by one and in this point you check the condition the the loop condition is checked here uh, if it's not zero if the loop counter is is not zero you will be jumped over here so this is the backward jump backward jump is uh, mostly used for uh, loop applications in STL. I created a very simple uh, loop application here. We have the uh, loop uh, loop counter and loop accumulation, and both of them the the loop accumulator is zero. I need to change the the command. I need to change the command to one. And you need to see that the output of the uh, loop accumulator is 10. Again, I change the command to 1 and it, uh, it will add another 10 to the accumulator. The program is very simple. Um, you have a command. If you turn on the command, it's a forward jump to here. If it's, the, the command is on, the loop is only uh only uh executed once uh in the loop you have the uh accumulation the values are uh, the previous value will be added by 10 in the when the loop is finished this is part of accumulation the second part is the loop handling uh, the loop uh, is initialized by 10 here and in each uh, iteration we uh, decrease number one and uh, we st store the loop counter here here we check if the loop counter is not equal to zero if it's not equal to zero it means that we need to jump to here and continue the loop uh, if it's uh, zero it means that the all 10 iterations are finished we will move to the next part that is resetting the command so in each uh, positive edge of this command we only uh, execute this part of the program only once and you can see that uh, as we have the iteration uh, uh, loop accumulation is around 20 I change the loop I change the command again and see what's happening our loop is uh, you know we, we have another 
uh, 10 uh, that is added to the accumulation it's possible to do it again and the same uh, behavior you can you can see here so uh, these are very simple applications of forward and backward jumps in a steel forward jump is suitable for decision making and backward jump is suitable for uh, implementing loops in STL. I hope uh, you find something new and thank you for watching.